school for most students in Kern County starts next week. In light of recent mass shootings in El Paso and Dayton, teachers and parents are adding something extra to their back-to-school shopping lists. A top priority is school safety, especially in the case of an active shooter. Jeanette Quesada tells us the extra precautions educators and parents are taking this year. As schools get ready to welcome students back into the classroom, many are making student safety a priority. Our staff is very concerned about the safety of the students. Chief Ed Komen works with the Kern High School District Police Department. He says his officers have been training to respond to an active shooter situation at each of their campus. Have you guys ever responded to a threat of a student bringing a weapon to the classroom? Yes. Matthew Bell is an English teacher at South High. Bell says it's been a conversation many teachers are having. From other teachers I know, there is a a frustration with um, the state limiting them able to carry out their Second Amendment rights by um, carrying firearms. This will be Bell's first year in a classroom and he's already considering ways to protect himself and his students in an active shooter situation. I've got a bulletproof panel that I keep in my backpack so if something did happen I would have some means to defend myself uh, and my, my kids in my class. Since schools are gun-free zones, he's turned to other alternatives for self-defense. The only thing that you can have is some form of defense, um, that, and that's your bulletproof uh, backpack panels. Get a Gun is the shop that sells those backpack bulletproof panels here in Bakersfield. The backpack and panel cost $175 a piece. This will stop um, anything from a 22 long rifle to handgun rounds up to 44 Magnum. Utah Allen, salesman for Get a Gun, says he's even considered getting some of these panels for his own grandkids. Bulletproofing my babies because it's just the world we live in, you don't know anymore. Allen says the simple solution would be to arm teachers, but Bell says only those teachers who are properly trained should be armed. The state shouldn't infringe on their right. Um, to potentially be that first line of defense before law enforcement can get there. Bell will go through the district's active shooter training next week. He says you can always plan for the worst and hope for the best. In studio, Janet Quesada, Eyewitness News.